Yo, what's going down, Commanders? I've noticed since the last downtime, the, the last update, the one that went on for three hours odd, and then they had to have another downtime to fix the bugs, my game's been running like crap. I mean, really horribly. And basically, there's a few things you can do your end to make sure everything's working okay your end. The first thing I would suggest you do is you go to the command prompt in your search bar. So you go command, and it should be one of the top ones. So command prompt, and you will type... Flat, uh, I will leave this link in the, the actual what you've got to type into the command prompt because I'm only going to paste and copy it if I can. Bear with me. Let me copy that and actually paste into that. But it won't let me. Okay, right. You type in IP CON FIG forward slash flash or flush, sorry, DNS. All lowercase. And that will flush your, uh, your DNS. And that will help with the, your internet connection and everything else going forwards. There's also a few other uh, programs I use as well. One is a free one. I will leave the link of this into the description below. Is CCleaner. Why is that opening? Browse. CCleaner's browser. Bear with me, guys. For some reason, it's giving me the browser. Uh, where is CCleaner? There it is. Forget the browser one. That's the one you want. I ported the, the wrong one across. So you want to run CCleaner, and that will kill off all your uh, history and all that crap. And clean up your computer, basically. So this is a, a health check, the first one. It is a paid... It is a paid service as well, but you get a, a certain amount, three. The pro version will, will give you a, a little bit more. Close and clean. And then you want to go to custom clean. This is, I think these are both do the same thing, but I always run both of them. Once this is finished, by the way, guys, I haven't done this for a while. So bear with me, as it uh, you can tell, I haven't done this for a long time. So it could be my end that I'm getting a bad connection. There is a few things in game that you can do to give yourself a better connection as well. I will show you that. Something that I need, to, I haven't done for months. You probably, if you've seen my original video, you know what I'm going to do. Right, so I'm going to run run cleaner. This should be pretty much empty, I believe. Yeah, a few few programs, but they're they're just normal. Then you want to close out your C cleaner. Get rid of that. If you make videos or record videos, I use a program called WizTree. You want to find basically there be a a certain portion of your video saved to whatever uh, editor you use. And I use this to get rid of that, the cache of that. So basically in this, you need to find your editor, which mine is under users, CD, app data, local, temp, and it's video. As you can see, I've got 2.5 uh, gigabytes of crap in there. So I'll delete that. Next up is your recycle bin which it's opened on the other screen and I'm going to empty the recycle bin. C clean it does empty your recycle bin but I always do, just check, double check make sure everything's running smooth there. Uh, bear with me let's open up the game now. Right there's a few things that you can do in the game obviously I've got to log in. I'll just log in through Facebook make it easier for myself. Right so you, I'm going to click onto the game now and push play and there's a couple of things in the game. If you're getting bad lag, you can turn, adjust some settings. And there's also a, a little problem with the workshop that you a lot of people just don't seem to understand. And I will run you through that anyway. So make sure everything's turned off. So all your effects, if you've got an older computer, you don't want none of that on it. It's all going to fucking apply lag to your game. So that's all off. That's in the settings in the top right corner there. You click that and you can turn all the, or anything that's gonna hog your resources basically and apply that. Right, your workshop. This is a big one guys. I've, I've had a lot of people message me telling me doing this helps immensely. And basically what it is, is going back to some of the older units. I shouldn't have much workshop on some of these. Is, is your saved workshops. So I'm gonna to get to a point in here as you can see, where I've got saved workshops, I'm going to start deleting the saved ones on units that I don't no longer use. I use them, so I won't 
save them. I, uh, no, I don't use that anymore, so I'm going to delete it. All three of them. Unless Kickstarter come out with an update, but then that way I can just put a new one on. And basically you want to go through every single one of your units. Every single one of them and delete workshop off them. Delete this saved work workshop tab, basically. And you should notice a difference. Again, another unit I don't use. Oh, what happened there? Another unit I don't use. Put it in the bin. And I'm going to go all the way up. You're probably, I'm probably going to have more workshops for these. Yeah, look. The newer units. So I'm going to throw these in the trash bin. Get rid of them. This all adds to lag. Having these saved. Because they're, they're loading up. Every time you load the game, this is loading into your game as well. Or it always used to be the way. Unless Kicksize changed the way this works. But yeah, you want to go through air. I mean every single unit. I would go all the way down. You, you'll notice none of these units are mine. Have got any saved workshop unless I've I've used to, or played about with a unit recently. But oh, choose different. Even these these can go now because they're they're dead in the water. They, these are all going to add to my lag in the within the game loading. Everything is is involved with these, so I'm going to delete all of this crap. I can't stress this enough, guys. If you are if you are running very very slow, this could help you immensely. Just going through every single one of these that the units that you no longer use, and delete the, the schematics. And I would love to know. Please let me know in the comment section below, or even on the comment section on Facebook where the videos po will be posted. Let me know if this helps you. I'm not going to run through all these, but I, once I come off camera, obviously I'm going to run through every single one of these until a point where I'm. it's my up-to-date units. Even some of these old crap here, look, you, you just want to get rid of them. Just delete just delete the saves, this one and all. It all adds to... because to, it has to load. It has to load every single time you load the game. Or, or that was what I was told, and I have noticed a difference once I've gone through this and cleared up me, uh, me workshop. I know it's a big difference, and I would love to. I hope you guys notice a difference as well. I'm not going to keep you any longer, guys, because I think I've waffled on long enough. Hopefully, fingers crossed. These steps that I've give you, I will leave the the command prompt. You type in command prompt in your uh, your run tab at the bottom of the screen. I'll run through that quickly again. So it's command prompt here. So you type just C O M. And it'll come up the top thing you can search there. Then you type uh, IP con or IP config, config flash DNS. I will leave what you've got to type in this in the description below. I will leave the link to C Cleaner, the free version. There is a paid version. Just use the free one, guys. Um, basically, this should free up things. And as I say, this is a very good tool if you make videos or, or lots of videos, recordings. Because this will, you can find the, the the recording or editing software, and you can remove all the catch from that, all the recorded videos. That all fucking adds up to a. I've had that up to 130 gigs used on my on my hard drive before now, which is a lot. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I do hope this helps you out. It, my game's been running like crap for the last couple of weeks, or not last couple of weeks since the last downtime. And I'm hoping that this will uh, make it run a little bit better. Take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.